What's up YouTube, Dazwell Beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always. Welcome, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright, what I'm doing today is another how-to, but it's not a regular how-to because right now I was making the beat and I just stopped and was looking at my phone and I seen somebody ask me um, on my last video, how did I use the melody sauce? How did I drag the MIDI and put it in to my um, sequence and then bring it back to the second sequence? All right. So that's what I'm showing you how to do today. I was already making a beat. The beat was almost done. So I let you hear the beat and then I'll show you how to do the drag the the. Um, the MIDI notes are the melody sauce and bring it into the software. All right, so let's go. Let's get it. Let's go All right, so now we're in the MPC, right? So uh, let me go back home so this is the beat that I was working on. Um, let me let you hear it. Then I'll bring it in after a loop. All right, so that was the beat right there that I was working on. So now I'm going to show you how to use the melody sauce, how to drag the how to drag the MIDI notes out of melody sauce. All right, so let's go here to our third track. Let's um let's mute the drums and everything else. All right. So that's all we have playing. Now let's um track three let's add a new vst let's grab melody sauce all right here go melody sauce right here right so let's just because i'm not going to use it in this beat but if it turned out good then i might use it but so let's i think the beat was in c yep fast let's do loop let's do that that uh Let's leave that. Let's leave that. Everything is, you know how to set up everything, right? So let's just pick a, a pad right here and then create one right there. So when you hit play, it should play it. Say if you want another melody, all you do is hit another pad, or you can hit the same pad, it don't matter. So now it's melody two is gonna play. Mm -hmm. 
all right so now this is how you grab the the mini note styles du, 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 du. this is how you grab those mini notes out of melody sauce and bring it into the mpc so you can switch your vst if you don't want to use the sounds that's inside melody sauce too you can drag the midi notes out and you can use a different vst to make the um sound so right here this is the that plus button right here we're going to drag melody two so melody one have the plus melody two have the plus so we're going to drag it from melody two and once we click and hold and drag it on the plate the timeline and let it go it acts this is what the mpc do it sends it to a different sequence so what we do what i do is i let it go to the sequence two and once it go to sequence two i will go into sequence two copy the pattern and then bring it back into my sequence one that i'm working in so i will go ahead and hit do it once it hit do it now we got to go to sequence two because right now we're in sequence one so we go to sequence two and you have to go back to track one because they put it on track one inside the sequence two so even if you're on track four you gotta you have to go back to track one to see the midi notes that you drop and make sure you're on your plugins right once you're on your plugins stroll up here go to midi notes right here right so what i do is control a to copy them all i mean to select them all or you can just use your mouse hold the sh hold the uh, left click and drag and select them that way or use control a to select and control c to copy and then just go back to sequence one say now we want it on we're in our sequence one say we want it on track four all right we just use another vst or you can put it on any track you want i'm gonna just choose track four and um let's go to uh let's say mini grand right so you open up the mini grand right make sure before you pace before you pace make sure your playhead is all the way back to the beginning right so all you got to do is click on it and drag it all the way back to the beginning if you're on the mpc hardware you hold shift and s let me show you you hold shift on the hardware the mpc hardware shift and stop and it brings it back right now what i do is control v to paste it in see that that's where it's at let's delete it if my playhead was right here and i hit control v then it's going to put the beginning of the notes right here we don't want that so control z we need it to start where it starts at. So if the melody started here, this is where we will have to put our playhead. So it starts back here. So we hit Control V and it pasted it in there. Now the mini let's solo the mini grand and the mini grand is just gonna play what the melody sauce two was playing. And from here you can do whatever you want to do so let's uh all right, so my track was eight bar so all we have to do is just move it over to the eight bar what to do that to copy it over you hold control and d and it just copies everything to the the ending of whatever last note you have so if your last note was right here it would have started it from right here so just make your last note to the line control d and i'll bring it shift everything over all right so that's it man that's the end of the video it was just a quick how to showing you how to do what you know drag it the midi notes out of melody sauce and use another vst all right so that's it man catch you in another one let's go Tony!